So we are going to discuss openings today, as you can see from the start. So after you play, which move will you play, Yogi? First move. E part two. Huh. E four. Okay, Muthu, you will also play E four. Okay. So after E four, Saksham, Black will usually play E five. Now, what's our next move usually? What do we do next? That's it. You only play E4, E4. That's it. We don't know what to do next. Sir. Yeah. Uh, knight to. Huh. F3. Knight F3. Muthu, what do you think? Sir, knight to F3. Knight F3. So you bring out the knight. That's a very normal thing, right? So Yogit, what are we attacking? What is white threatening? Pawn. Why is attacking the pawn? So how will black defend the pawn? What should black do? The black pawn. Huh. Seven F seven. Hmm. Two. Hmm. Six F. Okay, so you're defending the pawn, but that is not a good move. Who can tell me why this is not a good move? Why is F six not a great move? So it's opening the pawn. Yeah, it's opening the king a little bit, and it's also taking taking the seat of the knight. This is where the knight needs to come to. If you want to defend your pawn, there has to be other ways. It doesn't bring any peace out. By the queen, we want to bring out the queen early. No. We don't want to bring the queen so early in the game. Yeah. Huh. C6 you mean, here. E6. E6 is over here. How will you go there? C6. Ha, that's what I said. So knight to <coughs> C6. Good. Because this, this is the best way to defend the pawn. You bring out a piece and you defend the pawn. What are the other ways? F6 we saw. D6 you can play. Huh? You can just play D6 and defend. Huh? Because it also opens up the bishop. So whenever you have a choice between d6 and f6, never play f6, play d6. But yeah, here we have knight c6. Now, what do you usually do next? What's your next move? Yeah, yeah. Black has just moved us, of course it's white move. What should we do next in the next move? Taken out the knight, attacking the pawn, open and played knight c6, defending the pawn. What next? Uh, yeah. Bishop, uh, bishop to B5. B5. Here. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah, yeah what will you also play bishop b5? Okay. And Yogit, what will you play here? For white. If you are white, what is the next one? Bishop to B5. Okay, so everybody wants to play Bishop B5. So in, if it is your game, you will play Bishop B5. Yes. Okay. <coughs> Anyone knows the name of this opening? What do you call this opening? No? It's called Ruy Lopez or Spanish. Oh, yeah, this is called Ruy Lopez opening or the Spanish. We learned it last week, na? Last Saturday, yeah, last Saturday we learned the Joko Piano, Ruy Lopez and what else did we learn? Scotch. Huh. And you forgot? You learned all three and you forgot? Let's see if Nathan forgot. What is the name of this opening, Nathan? White has just played uh, Bishop out to B5. Scalinder. Yeah, Scali? Scandinavian. Scandinavian. And we didn't learn Scandinavian last week. It's the, yeah, oh. Saksham was saying like he already knew. I just told him again. <laughs> Everyone forgot. Those who were there last week, we learned this, but you forgot. Well, not very good. You should remember these things now. I even wrote it over here, the three openings. Now I erased. So this is the Joko, I mean, this is the Rulopus, also called Spanish. And what do you, how do you play the Italian? Just said, uh, bishop to 
ring and you box with each other after <laughs> one and a half minutes of boxing you come back to the game and you continue the game the yeah you, if you get knocked out there you lose you lose the game or if you get checkmated here you lose the game what same thing yeah yeah either you can win either by checkmating your opponent or by knocking out your opponent that's that's fine okay <laughs> anyway <clears throat> so this is the scotch Now we are going to go deeper into the scotch. I'm What do you think? Huh? <laughs> okay. If you are black, what do you think black should do after this move? After the scotch, how should black react? Yes. Nathan. Support the pawn. Support the pawn says Nathan by playing. Bishop. D6. Sorry. Uh. Oh wait. Uh. Sorry. Pawn. Huh. F6. Or F6. Muthu, what do you think of this move? Good move, bad move, okay move. What do you say? <coughs> okay. Okay move. Muthu, we already saw this move. You told me this move ten minutes back. We learned this just now, na, that this is a bad move. What? Yeah. Why did we? Why did we? Yogit, why? Why is this bad? Move? Why did I tell one second? Why did I tell Muthu earlier that this is not a good move? One second, patience. Muthu, do you remember why I told you that's a bad move? You told. Why is that? Huh. G eight two. Huh. Cannot come out, right? Yeah, that's a very important decision. And. And. King is and yeah. King, King is getting open. I told you this just five minutes back. And you making the same mistake. You saying this okay? Hey, yeah, that is Nathan's move. But Muthu uh, should say Nathan's move is bad. He shouldn't say this is an okay move. It's a bad move. It's a bad move that ruins the position. If you have to defend this pawn, d6 is better than f6. That's what even that I told you just five minutes back. So never play f6. If you if you see Ben Feingold's videos in YouTube, he has one rule: never play f6. Never, never, ever play F six. It's always bad. Okay, so what? <laughs> no, it's just a joke. I mean, it's not like it's all, it's almost always bad. Like ninety percent of the time, playing F six is a bad idea in any position. <clears throat> anyway, coming back, defending the pawn is one option. Anybody else? What will you do for black? After white plays the scotch, let's say Saksham played the scotch against you. How will you react? <laughs> You get this. You're looking at Saksham like how how could you play scotch? Anyway, what what will you do against the scotch? If you're black, what's your next move? Break the scotch. Yeah, you're not. Silence, Nathan. You've already played uh, F6. Others? <laughs> you only told Nathan. I'm asking others. If you're black, what will you do? That's my question. Defend. No. Yes. If you're black, what's your next move? Defend, attack. I don't know what you want to do. Yes. Uh, pawn 
Pawn d6. Pawn d6, defending the pawn. Anybody else? If you're black, do you have any ideas for black? So if I raise my hand, do you want to? Uh, yes, no two. Pawn two. Hmm. G6. G6. Okay. But white will take this pawn. See, white has played d4 just now. So he's attacking this pawn. He's making a threat. You're already defending it one time. I'm attacking two times. So you have to either defend or remove that pawn from there. So pawn d6, pawn f6 are not the best moves in the position. The best move in the position. See, if you play pawn d6, I'll push my pawn again. Is that a comfortable situation for your knight? He just woke up and then he's already getting attacked. So instead of allowing d5, just take the pawn. Why are we not thinking about taking the pawn? The guy has played d4. He's attacking the center. So you gotta take him. That is the best thing. So if somebody plays the scotch, you gotta take on d4. Now, of course, we will take back. Yogit, how will we take back? Yes, Yogit. How will you take back if you're white? Right, One second, let's see what Yogit decides. Knight or d4? Yeah, you'll take back with the knight. Sure, knight. Mutu, you leave the cushion alone. Na? Knight takes pawn. Exactly. We take back with the knight. Mm -hmm. So, this is why white plays is scotch to have an open line for the queen. So, queen is happy. Queen's happy, and the center control is a little bit more with white. Black has no pawns in the center, white has one pawn in the center. So you're immediately striking at the center in the scotch instead of preparing it with c3 and d4. Now, what do you think black will do? In this we'll go one or two moves deeper into this line. This is the main line of scotch. So I think black will do huh. knight two. Huh. D4. Knight takes knight. What do you guys think of knight takes knight? Saksham and Nathan. You are the uh, more experienced people here. What is your opinion about knight takes knight? Black. Of course, white has just taken here. Now black taking this knight. Is that good? Okay? Bad? It takes out the queen, so it's technically... Yeah, technically. Good. good for who? For black or white? White. Good for white. Okay. You're saying good for white? White. Okay. So, Muthu, you're saying good, bad, okay? For white, good. Black, and then why should black play knight takes knight <laughs> if it's bad so if you're not losing it it's an exchange so like we said it brings out the queen very good point knight takes knight brings the white queen to a very good square the best square for the queen is the center of the board because it can control the full board from there the yeah. most active square so oh, and it's also not too early nobody can attack this queen so easily so it's a very good square for the queen which is why black wouldn't do that. Black will play something normal, something useful. What is something useful for black? In the opening, what do we do? We bring out a piece, isn't it? So try to bring a piece out with threads. Yes, suction. Sorry, oh, okay. <laughs> what are we going to do? A useful move for black. Any useful move for black. What do you say? <coughs> Don't help your open with knight takes knight. Just bring out any piece. So which piece shall we bring out? Yes, Nathan? Uh, bishop to huh. c5. Exactly, that's the main move. Yeah. Bishop c5 is the main move because now you're making a threat. Right? Bishop takes knight is a threat. So if white takes, that line we'll see later. If if right now, how do you defend this knight? If you're white, how will you say, you're safe, don't worry. I've got one more supporter for you. So Bishop C3. E3 you mean. E3. Here. Yeah, E3. Yeah, exactly, good. So, oh. okay. why are you doing chess boxing now? Not now. So, Bishop E3 defending the knight. Yeah. Sir, I have one more thing. You want? After yeah. After this, I'm huh. in the same position, but after oh. this, the knight takes the... So, you're, so white is threatening that, correct? Yeah. So black has to do something about it. So that's a very good point. White is making a threat right now. Knight takes knight. And then the pawn if pawn takes back, we'll take this bishop. 
Does everyone understand the threat? What is the threat? What is Y trying to do? Not Saksham others. What is Y trying to do? Sir, yeah. Black knight takes white knight. <coughs> then white will just take back with the bishop, no? Daddy. Black is not threatening anything. White is threatening something. Knight, so, yeah. White knight takes this knight. Black. Okay, I'll take back. Then pawn bishop will take black bishop. Yeah, exactly. Good. So, there is a big threat of this happening. So, that means black has to do something about it. What can black do? Black moves the queen out. This is the main move. You bring the, the queen, queen out. So, now the idea is if white plays knight takes knight, we will not take back with the pawn. Bishop will take bishop. Yeah, that's not the plan. We will first play bishop takes bishop. Because now he is threatening checkmate. So they have to take. And then we will play pawn takes knight. What if the what? operator doesn't see the checkmate? Then you will give checkmate. What if operator does? I mean, you should expect the opponents to play good moves. And now it's already a good position for black. So it's a little bit uh, like deep line. But uh, scotch can lead to positions like this. You basically open up your queen. But black will also try to, you know, control t4 and bring out pieces. Now, <coughs> let's go back. So let us just revise uh, one thing before we learn the next part. So let me ask. Yogit, how do we play the scotch yogit? Silence guys, yogit is saying. Yes yogit, what do we do? E4. Huh. E4. Black plays E4. This is the owner. Correct? Then how will we play it? What is the first move? See move. How do we get to the scotch game opening? <coughs> D part two. Hmm. D four. Okay. See, see, a move is not an opening. So every time we play D four, it's not scotch. We don't call it scotch just because you play D four. This is not what we learned. So you confused a little bit. Let me see what Muthu says. How do we play the scotch move? E. Huh. Hmm. E4. Yeah. See, uh, you get E4, E5 happens. Then, Muthu, what next? So, knight, yeah. white knight 2, huh. F3. Knight F3, attacking the pawn. Black will play. What do you think, black? What will you do for scotch? What next? The white bishop two. Mm -hmm. Bishop two. Fast, okay. Too long. Fast. E two. Bishop e two. Let me ask Saksham. Do you agree with that? He said Bishop e two and it's scotch. Neither no need to raise. Let me. I'm asking Saksham. How do we play scotch? So how do we play scotch, Saksham? Sir. Muttu, please keep the cushion down. Please focus here because what you told is not correct. The scotch we just learned, na. So if you pay pro attention properly, 
You will know what move we are going to play. Sir, yes, Akshan. Deep onto deep four. Nathan, you agree with that? Is it D four? Is that how we play the scotch? No, it's D three. D three. So where is everybody paying attention? Huh? D three. Only one person has seen the scotch. Shit. We learned this last week. We saw it just twenty minutes back, and now you're saying D three and Bishop out. This is only Saksha was told the opening properly. This is called scotch. So playing d4 doesn't make it scotch. e4, e5, knight out, knight out, and then d4. That's how you play the scotch. Then it is called scotch. You you can attack the center with d4 in the third move, not first move. So let me see. <coughs> Yogi, can you tell me how to play the scotch? E part two. Hmm. E four. Okay. Black please. E part two. E five. Okay. Then next move. G two. Hmm. F three. Knight F three. Black please. B two. Huh. E E. C six, C six, okay. Then D four to D four. Okay, that is a scotch. Good. Now, who can tell me what black should do here? We are revising what we learned today so far. What should black do? Any idea? What is the best move for black? Submission. Huh. Black bishop to. Huh. C five. Bishop to c five. Moves are safe now. You are checking for the safe. You are of course doing whether that checking now. Of course, you are now experienced. You have played a lot of games. So now before making a move, Mutu will definitely see for the safe. Correct, Mutu. No, it's not safe. Uh, yeah, that you should do, na. Once you start checking if your move is safe, then you are an experienced player. You have to start doing it every move before you make a move. See if it is safe. That is just a gift to our opponent. If you play bishop c5, that's not the move. What should black do? We already saw this, so this is not the time to think. This is the time to remember, recollect. Nothing. Sure. Yes, Sachin. Knight takes the Knight takes pawn is okay, but after knight takes pawn takes queen takes queen is becoming active. So it's better to just take with the pawn, not knight. Pawn takes pawn, and then white will take back, of course. Now the game goes on. Anybody remembers the next move for black? Yes. What to? No. So let me. Ne ne the ne the. Instead of knight takes, we first take knight takes knight. <coughs> If you play first, no, 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 knight takes knight takes, then queen will come. We up. don't take knight takes knight. Hmm. I only told uh, yeah. bishop uh, bishop two. We don't. It's very almost. C five. C five. C five. Okay. Now we defend our knight. So, They attack the queen at uh, the knight again with the queen, and you defend again, and the game goes on. Yeah. yeah? Okay. Now we are going to start our games.